And by the way, uh, everybody, we've got uh, Miss Kendall uh, in our commentating booth today. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, I'm absolutely. Super excited for this fight. Yes, taking the legs out automatically. So this is something that I'm seeing new now in this event where yes. people are aiming more for the legs than they have been in the past. It's a technical knockdown, right? Well, I do know that they get they get points for it, and and, and we brought this up in, the, in, this, in this broadcast earlier today. This, unlike boxing, you are able to accumulate points. So I guess you do want to go for those uh, for those uh, leg uh, leg sweeps. Yeah, and Marcus has a very Marcus Perez has a very different handle hold. Right. He doesn't really like to grab the full pillow. He likes the corner. He can get a bit more reach. But Marcus right. Brimage, obviously having the full effect with the three straps right there. So when you swing with that thick, <laughs> bundled up pillow, right, it's, a right. pack, it's a very big punch behind so it. So do you think that uh, that uh, Marcus uh, with the one grip has a better chance of getting? No. Gotcha. No, I think it's simply technique, and uh, it does come down to arm reach. But well, the, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a lot of good technique. Everybody seems to be really, really comfortable in the ring. These guys have experience. They're not going to back down from literally anything or any right. swing. Well, I think I'm seeing the, a lot of spinning here too. And I, Marcus uh, Brimage is extremely technical with that. I always see a lot of um, right. agility work from him. Right, both. right, right, right. And by the way, for everyone who's listening to Kendo, I mean, she's got a lot of experience in the in the ring with pillow fighting, so she could definitely give us an insight as to what these guys are going through, what they're trying to do, and what the outcome should be. So uh, we had a really, really exciting first round. And I'm going to tell you, I mean, uh, and I, I've said it before with people who sit here next to me, you get into that ring and you think that you're just going to go and swing a pillow, you've got another thing coming to you. It's a whole new world. Absolutely, absolutely. Getting ready for round two. Round two. Uh, I expect to see a lot of the same. And uh, yep. Mar Marcus Perez, um, really, really comfortable in there. He loves the entertainment por portion yeah, of this. He's a showboat. <laughs> and, I, and we need some of that here also, you know, to... to uh, to be able to make this even more exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I haven't seen many golf swings. Well, again, with these guys that are more experienced, I mean, they choose their they choose their swings. And you know what? You're right. I mean, you got these two UFC fighters, and you can see the difference. They're so powerful. You can definitely see the difference. The head movement is on a whole nother level too, and the way they can read the shots. Right. It's just a punch with a pillow behind it. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. There you go. He, he's a got lot. A, a lot of wrist mobility there right. with the with the one strap. And, and is that the advantage, wrist mobility? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that's the more freedom with that one strap. That's what he's going for. But I noticed that that by him doing that, grabbing the one strap. Um, the pillow seems to want to come out there at the edges, and that would cause a stoppage in the fight. At least, I mean, I would think. <laughs> yeah, the fluff coming out is never a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a good thing if that's coming out. No. And I think you can get a lot more punch with the pillow than impact. You can just hear the difference in the sound, too. Right, right. And I tell everybody that, I mean, we're sitting ringside, so we can hear the big plop every time that hits. And when you're doing a spinning. Not a lot of instructions for the corners like we saw. UFC fighters. Like, well, we did see that with the previous fighters, like Estela Nunez, when she won a little while ago. She had, you know, instructions for the corners, and I think that that's important too. I mean, you just can't go on, you know, when you're in there. You need somebody to tell you something. I'm gonna take a picture of a. Oh. Let's take a selfie. <laughs> Ben Brimage is currently a bare knuckle fighting championship professional fighter, and his next fight, I believe, is in April. Um, and with, no, B, with BKFC? With BKFC. There's no really? conflict here. Wow. Yeah, head movement. Yeah, yeah see, he yeah. missed. He should have swung. You're absolutely bit. right. I mean, we're seeing a lot of technical here. I mean, people can see, oh, and a new way to block, a way to block mm -hmm. the shots also. You can see how Marcus is coming together on that. Um, but they're having a great time in there, and they're being very, very effective. It's so much fun. 
I wonder if Marcus Burmage works with nunchucks. <laughs> I know that our champion Holly Tillman does work a lot he with does. nunchucks. He does. So we just had him. We just had him here, and he brought up that point. <laughs> he brought up that point that since he's so maneuverable with the nunchucks, it's easy for him to grab onto the pillow. But oh, these guys are going at it. Yep. I mean, it's a, it's a one two so one much. two. Ten seconds. Yep. Go, Marcus. I mean, I'm surprised to see so many. Oh, uh, oh there goes a double leg takedown. Oh, oh, the side down. control. Oh, now we go in the top mount. Oh, another sweep. Oh, now he's in the full guard. I oh, think we, oh. I think we had a little <laughs> more entertainment oh, than we were supposed to have here. We wound up grappling at the end. It was a great, great show. Great fight. Let's Let give him a big hand. Come on, guys. Let's give him a big hand. Yeah. All right, Danny, Danny, yes. That was very I think good. these guys did a great, yeah, yeah, great job. Funny. It's going to come down Always to points. To have a I mean, in the house. straight points. And I don't know exactly if the rules have changed since we last did our fighting championship right, right. series. So um, it, it's going to come down to points. And if they, we didn't, didn't get want to thank everybody so for coming we'll out see. to the Delray right, 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 Beach right. Boxing Club. But I think I, 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 I have to agree with you. Yeah, I have been with Marcus for quite some time. Mm -hmm. But I think I do have to agree com. with you. I think that the Joker edged it out there a little bit. Oh, yeah. um, and it, he was having such a great time in there. You can see how comfortable they were. And uh, again, I love the fact that these guys take it so serious that they're not gassing out. That they're not gassing out. You're not going to see that with the UFC veterans. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Right. Decision. Out in the red corner. <gasps> yes, Marcus. 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 Wow. Marcus. And there you go, Bad ladies and boxing gentlemen. Club. That Thank is a stunner. Boxing club. A Marcus. stunner. A stunner Thank because both you and Thank I you had Marcus. Joker a little bit ahead. Both Marcus. And that just goes to show job. you never know. Yeah.